what is up guys welcome back for another video i am back in pattaya thailand i know it's been a minute since i posted a video um i kind of just got burnt out from everything from moving around a lot from posting content so i just need to take a break but we're back and today we're gonna see how far can twenty dollars go in pattaya thailand what does twenty dollars get you here in pattaya so we're gonna see first we gotta go pick up some money i'm going to western union uh to get some cash versus going to the atm because my car charges me the atm fee and like it's like 220 baht if you don't have a thai bank account so yeah it's cheaper to do western union so we're gonna go there get some cash and then we are going to explore around think about hitting the beach but first we get some food that's like priority number one because your boy is hungry as always because i'm hungry in every video <laughs> it's currently a monday weather is great out here and that's one thing i really appreciate is that i have had warm weather since october that is truly a blessing i did not experience any cold weather since i left the us of last year and that's been great so i've been loving waking up to you know this beautiful weather every day Chiang Mai was great. I got some more videos coming for you guys from Chiang Mai that are just kind of right now sitting in my phone. I haven't edited them yet. So if you guys see some Chiang Mai videos after this one, just know it's out of order, like the way I posted it, because I'm not in Chiang Mai anymore, obviously. But yeah, let's do it. Let's go get this cash. Have a good day. Show you guys a little bit of Pattaya. Let's go. If you guys have asked me about, you know, how I am living in Thailand in the sense of like, how am I like making money? So this channel is really about like my travels and stuff. But for you guys who want to know about like my digital nomad life, how to make, how I'm making money different ways, you know, online and whatnot, I actually started a dedicated channel for that where I'm going to be pretty much breaking down how I make money online and different ways you can do it. And just breaking up the game of different and then sharing different ways of way, ways you guys can make money. I'm actually in the process now of, well, I'm in the research phase and the prep phase of writing a book. Um, that's going to really break down, you know, becoming a digital nomad. In preparation for it, though, I'll be sharing my own experience in the book, my own knowledge, as well as interviewing other digital nomads and just sharing a lot of game in that book. Now, that's probably a couple months down the road because it's going to take some planning. I want this book to be um, to go to print. I'm going to self-publish it. So it will be an ebook, but also if you want to get like a paper copy of it, that's my goal. So that's going to take a while because I really want to put some effort into this thing. Um, and I really wanted to be a great resource, but that'll come in due time. Um, but yeah, so the other YouTube channel will be either, I'll link it here and below in the description if you guys who are interested in learning about, you know, making money online or just different ways. Follow that channel because that's what the game will be. And yeah, I know you guys are interested, you know, and being able to live overseas. It has been... Um, a very enjoyable experience so far, especially Thailand. This is my first time ever living outside of the country, you know, the U.S. Um, it's now been over four, four and a half months I've been doing this now. I'm still getting used to it, though, because like, it's been hard to create a routine. Um, that's one of the biggest downsides. It's hard to create a routine when you're doing living a digital nomad life. I'm always in the move. So, yeah, um, you know, I myself am still learning the ways of this digital nomad life, but... We'll get there eventually, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but it's still been fun though, can't complain. Right, guys, now that we have the cash, time to make stop number one of the day, which is gonna be a place called Hideaway, which I'm gonna go to get some breakfast. Hopefully they still serve breakfast. I don't know if it's an all day thing or not, but that's where we're headed now. Um, so the first spend of the budget though is going to be the ride to get there, which is gonna cost about 30 baht. I'll put the conversion right there. So that's our expense one of the day for $20. And let me find my ride. I think it is almost here. And I already watched the video, so I think my breakfast is gonna cost 160 baht, but we'll see when we get there. All right, guys, so it turns out I went to the wrong hideaway. So yeah, I'm getting another ride to the actual location I'm supposed to be at. So it's gonna be another 32 baht. We're already running up the expenses for the day, overpaying because I'm making mistakes. 30 baht's gonna really break the bank. <laughs> That's interesting. Chicken served hot or cold. Why would you want cold chicken? I don't know, but 
apparently that's an option. <laughs> One ninety five. What do you get? You get three sides, French fries, steak fries, mashed potatoes. Ready? Thank you. And here's my table. So I've been craving some uh, American breakfast. So that's what we're getting. That's what I'm gonna get. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Yo, I'm so spoiled by this weather. I mean, like, I know I keep talking about it, but this weather, like, it's just, blows my mind I get to wake up to this every day. Like, it's so lovely to be in this weather, outside, by the beach. Can't complain. Literally can't complain. A load of this, here is breakfast. We got scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, hash brown, pancakes, toast, and beans. This is lit. I'm excited. Let's dig in. impression of the food this place is on point eggs are good sauce is good hash brown good so pretty good spot great portion of food for the price I believe the plate I just ordered was like just 155 baht we'll put the conversion below there I'm really hungry right now so I'm really enjoying this but we're gonna try with the English eat which is apparently beans on toast it's an English thing silly wankers <laughs> Let's try beans on toast. Let's see what the hype's about. Let's do it. There's literally nothing special. Why do y'all do this in England? Oh. I mean, it's not bad, but... There's really nothing special. Uh, let's try the bacon. Just the fat right now. Alright, let's go for it. One point. Some good bacon. Alright guys, so total for the breakfast plus the drink. Comes out to 180 baht. Conversion will be right there. Not bad at all. Very satisfying breakfast. Recommend coming here. You're in Patia. I'll be trying more restaurants, you know, over the time. But that was good. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Let's pay for this meal and move on to the next activity for the day. Yeah, I've been in Thailand now for four months. I've been yeah, I've been here for four months now. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. Are you retired here? No, I'm retired. Yeah, I'm saying you're retired living here? No, no. Oh, just visiting? Oh, okay. Okay, nice. Oh, really? <laughs> so you like it then? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so total for breakfast was 180 baht, but I gave him 200 baht and just let him keep the change. So it was like 20 baht is like, it may be a dollar, I don't know. 75 cent, whatever. So we'll round up 200 baht. There's a total. So today we've spent a total of 260 baht between both the rides and uh, breakfast. Hello. Not right now. No, thank you. Now I'm just walking the area a little bit just to see what's over here. And then we're going to get a ride to the beach for part two of the day. But you know, we had to start with some food and that was satisfying. <laughs> I'm sure, you know, I'll be hungry in a couple hours. Breakfast doesn't usually last, like as far as keep me full for super long. Hello.
fresh coconut drink, 50 baht. This is so relaxing. It's a Monday. I'm literally chilling on the beach, beautiful weather. Sipping fresh coconut for $1.50. Life is whatever you make of it. And the thing is, guys, you don't have to be rich to, to do this. Like, I probably spend maybe a little bit over a thousand dollars a month. If that. Honestly, I don't really know how much I spend. I know it's not much. What I spend monthly here is less than what I used to pay in rent in the States. My rent was $1,400. I, I, I rarely even spend $1,400 in a month. I might be spending a thousand. I really don't know. My rent, on average, where I rent at, typically is like six thousand baht, which is like I think it's less than two hundred dollars or close to it for a whole month. The most thing I probably spend most of the time because I don't always eat Thai food, so the Western food costs more, right? But other than that. A day on the beach cost you a couple bucks. Renting this chair literally, I think, maybe costs like 50 baht or 100 baht, like so, like three dollars. Now, if I wanted an even more relaxing day or something even nicer, I would uh, hop myself over to Kolaran Island, which I just did. Yeah, I would go to Kolaran Island. I just did that the other day, and to go to Kolaran Island cost five, no, 200 baht round trip on a speedboat, cheap. 200 baht to rent a scooter for the whole day. So right now we're at what, 12, $13? Buy a pack, four pack of beers, just to, you know, drink while you're on the island from 7-Eleven, 131 baht, so it's like $4. So basically you can go to Kolarn for the day, hang out, and then you wanna, you know, you sit at one of the beaches. 20 bucks, 20 bucks to go on an island and ride around. You got six different nice beaches. So, so far, Kolarn is one of my like go-to spots. I've only been there twice, but I really like going there. It's just relaxing, it's chill. But I haven't been to Phuket yet. I'll get there eventually, but I, I'm just taking my time, you know? No rush, I'll go to Phuket like in the next couple weeks probably. Um, but yeah, guys, you don't have to be rich to do this. And now I'm about to get a massage, a leg massage on the beach for 200 baht. Now a new day, I forgot to end the video yesterday. Um, but we ended up spending a total of 690 baht. So right, just about right there at 20 bucks. You guys see what it got. So 90 baht was spent on transportation. 200 baht was spent on a delicious breakfast. Um, we spent another 50 baht for the fresh coconut um, drink on the beach, along with the, uh, the um, chair to sit in, you know, renting that. That costs 100 baht. And then I got the foot massage or leg massage for half an hour for 200 baht. So yeah, you guys see, I mean, it's pretty good value in America. You probably would have spent 20 baht, I mean, $20 just on renting a beach chair alone. So, and obviously with, you know, things like food and such, like 200 baht, depending on where you're at, can get you, you know, if you buy 50 baht meals, 60 baht meals, price ranges depending on where you're at, but you can, they might get you three different meals, but. I specifically wanted an American breakfast because I hadn't had one in a while. So, you know, when you got a craving, you got to fulfill it. <laughs> so, yeah, but not bad at all, guys. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me, you guys, what else you want to see. I'll be heading down to Phuket pretty soon. 
Um, so make some content then. Also be going back to Colon. I probably want to go to Colon like every week. I'll just say like once a week. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I uh, love, peace out.